dirt, dirt, dirt. Excuse me for a second. Okay. Great. Okay, there we go. So this is going to be a, a three by five equation uh, system. Uh, just so you know, in the background, you might hear my baby or my wife, my baby, you know, squealing, my wife uh, attempting to play the ukulele. So um, if you hear some noises that are not my voice, that's what it is. Okay, so in this case, we have more unknowns than equations. We've got one, two, three, four, five unknowns. We've got one, two, three equations. So what happens in this sort of case? Generally, we expect, and we generally get, uh, let me write this up over here, infinitely many, many solutions. It's sort of like the, uh, uh, the, the, the system is sort of underdetermined. You know, we've only got five, or excuse me, three conditions saying what these five variables can do. And so, in some sense, there, there's sort of two degrees of freedom that allow uh, things to, you know, uh, prevent them from, there from being a, a one uh, solution. Excuse me. Okay. So we want a one in the upper left as usual. And here I set it up so we can swap rows one and row two. We go ahead and we do that. And what happens? Uh, negative one, negative three, negative three, one, negative eight, negative two, great. Uh, so that's uh, just swapping rows one and row two. And row three stays the same. Okay, that's what my matrix looks like. Yep. Okay, perfect. Now, as usual, I want zeros below the one that I just got in the upper left. And, you know, I, I do it the same way I've always been doing it. You know, uh, there's a two in row two. I want to get rid of that. So I add negative two, row one, two, row two to get rid of that two. There's a negative one in row three, so I'm going to add a uh, this row one to row three. Uh, because one and negative one will make zero, so that's perfect. Okay. Uh, I go ahead and do that, and again, I encourage you to stop, check the arithmetic, make sure that this works out right. Uh, but the top row looks like that. The next row looks like 0, 4, 8, negative 2, uh, 6, and 0. The last row looks like 0, 1, 2, uh, negative 1, 3, and negative 4. Great. Now, once again, I'm going to ignore the row that I just worked on. Although I suppose I'm going to erase this stuff off to the left first. And there we go. Erasing, erasing, erasing. Okay. Now I'm going to ignore the top row because we just worked on that. And let's find the first non-zero column. The first non-zero column is the one with 4 and 1. And I want uh, a 1 at the top as we've been doing. So there's the first non-zero column, one and one at the top. And again, there are two things I can do. I can divide by the first entry of the row, or I can swap if possible. And in this case, I set things up so that, yeah, you can swap rows two and three. And what we end up with then is the top row staying exactly the same. The second row becomes the old uh, third row. And the third row becomes the old second row. And I'll just draw my lines, etc. Okay. There they are. Okay.
Now I want to get zeros above and below the one that we, I just put there because again that's what reduced form means. Once I have a leading one, I need zeros above and below that one. And we do the typical thing. I'm going to add three times row one, or row two, excuse me, to row one to get rid of that negative three. And since I've got a four in row three, I'm going to add negative four row two to row three. Let's turn that into a zero. And I'll erase what we have over to the right. Erase, 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 erase. Oops, got rid of that one. Let me redraw it. Now there it is. Okay, and here's a line. So let's see what happens. Again, do the arithmetic at home. I'm getting sick of saying that, but really, it's worth it for you to sit down and do the work at home just to make sure. You know, here's a case where I actually give you the uh, you know, answers so you can compare your work at home to what I'm uh, doing here. Okay. It's hiccuping again, sorry about that. Okay. Great. Now we're going to ignore the first two rows. Oh. Well, okay, I guess I'm just sort of skipping ahead and saying, um, wait a minute. Oh, I messed up. I think I messed up. Hmm. I'm not sure what's going on here. I'm not sure what's going on here. Oh, I did mess up. This is where I messed up. I, I got to help myself because I, I had the, uh, I had the, uh, yeah, okay, so that, that's what I meant to say. So I'm going to ignore the top two rows. And I want a one there. And I see that I did indeed mess up. I wrote down the uh, uh, wrong numbers in there. What I should have here are 2, negative 6, and 18. My bad. So, oh, 16, whoops. So, my bad. Okay. So, I'm going to ignore the top two rows, and I want a 1 at the beginning of uh, the, uh, 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 the bottom row. I've got a 2, we want 1 there, so I'm going to divide the bottom row by 2. And that's where I got this matrix that I wrote before, where I had 0, 0, 0, 1, negative 3, 8. So I, I was cheating, I actually did all of these computations beforehand, uh, because I found that if I was just trying to do them live, I often made mistakes. And it's a waste of everybody's time for me to sit there and try to correct mistakes. And this what happened this time. So luckily I was able to catch myself because I had uh, the computations done already. Now we've got a 1. And we want to get rid of the numbers above that 1. We want zeros above the 1. We want zeros. Uh, here and here, they disappear. I want to put my mouse over it. Okay, so I'm going to add uh, row 3 to row 2, because row 2 is negative 1, so 1 and negative 1 is 0. I'm going to add 2 times row 3 to row 1, and I end up with there. So here's the thing, this new tablet I got, I will be able to write small numbers really easy, and write things a lot more easily. This is uh, getting pretty filled in. Okay. Now this is in reduced form and I encourage you to check that yes. This is in reduced form. Check it. 
but we're done with the algorithm. There's nothing else to do. Uh, there are no more rows to fix. Every row has a leading one. Above the ones are zeros. Below the ones are zeros. The ones go down to the right. Great, that's exactly what we wanted. So, okay. Uh, I'm getting ahead of the video again, so this is reduced. Check it. And so this corresponds to the system. Let's write it out. I've got five unknowns. Each column corresponds to an unknown. So this corresponds to um, x1 plus 3x3 minus 5x5 uh, minus 5x5 is equal to 2. And x2 plus 2x3 is equal to 4. And x4 uh, minus 3x5 is equal to 8. Now, any variable which does not appear, uh, so, so x1, x2, and x4, these correspond to leading ones. And anything that corresponds to a leading one will also appear as the first variable in the equation. So we'll solve for that. Um, x3 and x5 do not correspond to leading ones. So we're going to let x3 be s, x5 be t, and these are two parameters. So anybody which does not correspond to a leading one, anybody which appears not as the first variable in any of the equations, is going to be you know, uh, 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 defined by a parameter. And since we have two such variables, we get two parameters, s and t. They can be any real numbers. Now we solve the three equations for the first variable in each case. x1, x2, x3, they correspond to leading ones. x, x1, x2, x4, excuse me. x1 is negative 3, x3 minus 5, x, uh, plus 5, x5, uh, plus 2. Uh, x2 is equal to negative 2, x3, plus 4. And x3, uh, 4, excuse me, is equal to 3. Uh, that's a weird looking 3x5 plus 8. And so the general solution looks like, just checking how much time is left, okay. The general solution, come on, solution, write it down. General solution is, next one is, well since x3 is s, I get negative 3s plus x5 is t, so plus 5t plus 2. x2 is negative 2, uh, negative 2 s plus 4, and uh, x3 is equal to s, x4 is equal to negative 2, uh, excuse me, 3 uh, times t, because x5 is t plus 8, and x5 is just equal to t. To get specific solutions, you just plug in values for s and for t. It looks like we've still got a, about a minute left of this video. Frankly, I don't know what I'm going to write down because I don't bother watching these before we dubbing them. Uh, let's see what I... Oh, whoa, 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 what was that? Uh, whoops, times two. Okay. What was I going to write? Maybe something... This, this, this might be useless. Um, that's it. That's it. Why do I keep writing stuff? Okay, I'm just going to stop this right now.